so this is going to be a demonstration of how to properly do a dictation exercise. Now we're not going to do the entire exercise because it's a lot more video time than what's necessary to demonstrate. Um, what, one of the first things you want to do is you want to have a copy of the syllabary uh, that you're going to be practicing with that match the dictation exercise. Um, in this particular case we're going to be doing a, a, e, o, u, uh, and ga. Uh, the videos will be displaying um, for the first sets the actual syllabary that you're going to be learning as part of the video. Um, not as it's written but in a chart like this so that you can have it for easy reference while you're doing the exercise. Um, again, don't be afraid if you can't remember or if you're not sure what letter you're supposed to be writing down as far as its shape goes, don't be afraid to look at the chart. Okay. It's important that you learn the correct shapes as you do them and not try to push yourself so hard that you're writing down all the wrong things. All right. Syllabary dictation practice. So this is the actual audio from the exercise. In this exercise, you should write down the syllabary letters as they are spoken. As you start to write each letter, be sure to speak aloud its name. Give my tip of my tongue against my uh, front teeth as I do each one. Ah. Uh, a. A. As I write each one, I'm also saying it. E. E. Next line. Next line. And you continue on like that. Um, each um, exercise set is split in two parts. Um, each part has seven lines like this. At the end of the seventh line, it'll ask you to change pages, in which case, um, depending on what kind of paper you're using, you would eat, if you've got enough room, you can stay on the same paper. If not, go ahead and switch paper. Um, so that's pretty much the exercise. Now keep in mind you need to keep your tongue against your lower front teeth while you say aloud each letter and it is also extremely important to actually say the letter's name aloud as you start to write it. Okay, That's extremely important. Now there should be enough gap between each letter for most people to have no problem. If you can't keep up at first, going back and forth from here to here, you know, because you're allowed to look at how to draw each letter, okay? Um, don't worry the first time around about writing down the wrong letters initially, or about missing a letter. Just, I mean, if you don't have, if you don't write a letter down in time because you were finishing the previous letter, and the dictation audio jumps to the next letter. Go ahead and do that next letter. Let's go ahead and skip the letter. There's nothing wrong with doing an exercise more than once. Okay. Um, now at the end, the final dictation exercise, there's a final, final exercise. It will do the entire syllabary in one session, okay, which would be four sheets of paper. And in the future, you can use that final one session from the dictation exercise as a refresher and as a test to make sure you're doing good. So, so it's time to start. Let's do your first exercise.